Here we are again. Hello, everyone. Still in lockdown, now with curfew, in 2021. But hey, we got a new set. Call time, baby. And here's the uh, first of the box topper in there, the Realm Walker Shapeshifter. So, thank you for the box topper. And thank you once again for the kind people at Tabletop Kingdom for during these times still having some delivery so I can at least do something at home. Now, they also organize the events. So, uh, here they are, the nice boosters. We are going to get these piles and once again take six boosters from these piles and use that for a sealed event. Okay, so we need six of these boosters to get a sealed event. So we should choose them right now, I would say. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I would like one Tibalt, two Tibalt, and three Tibalt for the sealed event. Okay, so we'll open these up later, but these will be the six boosters I'm gonna use for the sealed event, so please will be fair. But now let's just start opening these up and see what goodies we got. So I'm excited for this set. Um, this is a set based off Northern mythology. So lots of gods, lots of giants and titans and creatures. So we'll see what we get. So first off, mm -hmm, a few more to the comments. We're gonna see those a lot, of course. And I was expecting this one. This was the first uh, call time card I saw, Pyre of Heroes. So thank you. And of course, the Snow Land. Um, I'm gonna do that later. You know, the pile will be a lot more work, but you know, let's keep the video interesting about the rares when we actually give about. So going through some of the new cards and I like the artwork. I really like the style. This is a good card, by the way. I like this, uh, or, or no, this is not the wrong one. That was still, it's a good card, the Invasion of Giants. So it's gonna be used for a deck. Oh, look at this Alton's artwork, beautiful with the runes in there. That's such an amazing thing. And we have a zombie cleric for our rare. Interesting, make a spell among ice counters, okay. And a snow-covered land, of course. Okay, let's do it very carefully. Oh my god, the boosters are very nice, slick free. Ah, this one, I like this one. You know, the fearless bubble. Ow! Cute card. Okay. Nice saga. Set the worthy. And a rare alternate art, Raiden God of the Worthy. And it's also a legendary artifact. The protector shield. That's nice with the planes and a foil breakneck berserker. Cool, 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 cool. So with our sealed event, we don't want to have, um, of course, any mythics. We want to save those mythics in the sealed. So hopefully less mythics in this part and we get those later. And well, speaking of which, here is our first mythic. It's Nico Aris. And it's the battlefield create X char tokens. I'm still on the doubt of this card, but hey, it's a mythic, so we take those. And of course, land. 
So I'm not still so not so keen about that one. But we'll see what happens there. Okay. Oh, here we go. So I've already seen on Arena this uh, this deck. It's really a troll deck, you know. It's the sword target land, so it's six. Put target land from a graveyard, so you can steal the land then, and then choose target opponent if they control fewer less than you. Create a number of four four green troll warrior creature tokens with trample equal to difference. So your ramp deck against someone who's not playing ramp means I have a lot of trolls for a four. You have one turn to survive this. So, that will be fun, probably, it's too early to tell what the decks will be, but hey, I've been seeing that going around, and it looks fun. I personally want the World 3 deck, you know, with the gods just summoning all of them out of your deck. Sounds pretty fun. Okay. And the alternate arts. Reflections of Lichara. Uh, choose a creature type where you cast a spell of the chosen uh, type, copy that spell. So, let's say you do giants, for instance, in this, you get a bunch of giants every time you play this. That's great. In the land. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. that's nice. This is the one I was talking about. So, it deals four damage to each non giant. It's Christ for three, and whenever you cast a spell of mana for a trader, draw two cards, then discard a card for five. So, this is a very, very nice one. And let me, before I forget, do this now. Of course, I need to sleeve those, so. Come here. Let's do this now. While people wait, huh? For the video, they're like, well, why is this video so long? Because he's opening his sleeves. Okay, let me just do this. Where is it? Thank you. And sleeving is a very delicate option. But there we go. That is sleeves. Um, and where is the mythic doing this now? Should have done this earlier. Of course. Get in there, get in there. Very nice. And you know what? I'm going to sleeve the saga as well. Because just in case. The rest of the ones I'll sleeve later. But hey, that is that's some nice cards. Okie dokie, continue with the boosters. Continue with the boosters. I'm not sure what I want yet. So basically I'm gonna update my decks, but there's not something that blows me away, I think. So we'll see, here's another saga. And that's the Bloody Massacre. Create a two tree red berserker, menace. Whenever a berserker attacks you, draw a card, lose one life. Add mana for each sure, you control until the end of the turn lose end step. So, yeah, so not sure about that. Looks cool. It's maybe fine. But it's it's not something that I am greatly fond of. You'll be like, oh my god. Need that. So I think the pathways, that's the first thing I want, you know, the nice lens, the, the beautiful artwork, you know, the tyrant sword. Oh my god. Okay, and, and speaking of pathways, here is the first one we wanted. See? So, hey, now I need three more from each. Maybe the alternative of art, that's also a thing. But completing the pathways is something you want. I think they will be very important in standard, if you ever get to play standard again in these times. Okay, so let's move on and 
Tundra Fumarole deals four damage to a creature card at well, for each spent until the end turn. You don't lose mana. Okay, so you get mana back if you use Snow Land for this, but it's for three to deal four to target creature or player. So it's okay, I guess. Maybe. Hey, whatever booster has like a snow one. That's fun to, to get. Okay. And. Hey, Tibbles Trickery. I like this one. It's a counter target spell. Choose one to your random controller. Mills up many cards and exiles a top card of the library until they exile a land with a different name than the spell. They make us that card without paying its mana cost, then they put the exalted card on the bottom of the library in a random order. So it's a counter spell for red. That's uh, scary. I play is it, so that's red and blue. Wonder if that's a card I want in there though. I'm still doubting. It's a counter spell for two, so that's pretty good. But the chances of getting a, a worse permanence is always on the table. Look at that alternate art. Beautiful. And is this another saga? King Narfi's Betrayal. Mill four cards. Make a spell from one card. There's sales spend mana. Each player. Okay, then you may exile a creature playing from graveyard. Hmm. That's uh, pretty nice, but we got something here. We got Jorn, God of Winter. Alternate arts foil and join attacks untap each snow permanent you control that is insane and look at this whoa so this is a black blue and on the other side it's a green so you can use this in a very different style also as a commander so i'm gonna Leave that, of course, in the meantime. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So, next, 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 next. Okay, now well, we're getting gods. I'm still thinking about the World Tree deck with a god deck, and I only need one god from each. Since when you summon them all, they're legendary, so you don't want them to go away. Okay, oh the pop. Okay. Coffin hammers come far. It's not a god, but a mythic. It is Halvar, god of battle. Creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike. At the beginning of each combat, you may attach target aura or equipment attached to creature you control to target creature you control. Not bad, not bad at all. That's very nice. Although our mythics are currently, you know, not going to be in the sealed product. It's also, of course, a sword of the realms. When a creature gets plus two and has vigilance, when a creature dies, return to its owner's hand for two and equip for two. So the god is nice, but the weapon is also nice. Vigilance for two. My god. Okay. And we go, we go, we go. Oh, alternate arts. I like this one, the Force Master. It, it is, reminds me of a Star Wars. Uh, doesn't it remind you of Star Wars? Like, isn't this, uh... Is it Return of the Jedi that had this one? I think so. Looks great. Hey, that's number two for Tybalt's Trickery. I take that. We have four. Maybe we'll add them in the deck. I love opening boosters. Especially during these times, you know, you can't go to the store and be like, I'll take a pack. No, you have to order it. And when you order, you order in bulk. You don't order one pack and pay for shipping and then... Ah. That's cool. 
Mastwood Nexus. It's a shapeshifter. Change thing token. Hmm. Very nice. And a foil. I'm skipping totally over the rare to be put here. Hmm. Nice foil. Common dope. Okie dokie. So, it's another mythic. It's the Ovar, the All Form, the Shapeshifter. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, targets one more permanent you control. Create a token that's a copy of those permanents. Whenever a spell or ability controls, it causes you to discard, discard. Create a token of that a copy of target permanent. Okay, so it's safe from discard. And when you cast a target, create a token. It's a copy of those permanents. Interesting. Interesting. How to work with that through. So, why does this leaf always take upside down? Get in there. And now you're in. And I'm sleeving cards that I think have value. Could be wrong. You know, maybe I should sleeve them all. And it will take so much time. So I'm just going to sleeve the highlight ones. Okay, all right, all right, all right. The Raven's Warning. Another Saga rare. So it has... Create a one blue ticket token. Yeah. Uh, bird creatures token flying. Whenever one of your creatures just comments upon Stamer, look at the players and draw a card. You may put a card you own from outside the game. This is a fun card. You know, it can uh, King goes. Hey, look, got a little bit lucky there with a foil snow covered forest. Should I sleeve these? You know what? Just in case. Just in case. You know how people get crazy over foils, so sometimes they can have some value in there. So we're gonna save these and put these. There you go. There you go. Okay. And. Saga. Another saga. And it's a god. It's Kovari, god of kinship. With the ring heart's crest. It's been this creature spell of the chosen type. So our god deck is coming pretty much well along, if I would say. But we don't have any world trees yet. We need world trees for that and some older gods, actually. So we'll see. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, Sorrow Sulf Realm Eater. Whoa. That's a cool card. That is a cool card. Damn. Artwork is insanity. I really love how the it, it gives really the cold feeling of call time, you know, with the realms and difference of the all the Nordic energy there. Okay. In search of greatness. It's the wolf again. Cast a permanent spell from your hand with a monocles. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may cast a permanent spell from your hand. We convert the mana cost equal to one plus the higher convert the mana cost among other purposes you control without paying its mana cost. If you don't, scry one. So this is an enchantment and you say if you do something for turn two, you can play the turn three card for free. And this is your turn two card. So then your turn three card is for free. Okay. Maybe we'll see some play. It's like turn one, a uh, goose, turn two, that, turn three, free, uh, what do you call it, uh, beast, what's it called? I forgot the name of it, well, the beast, the 5-5 five, five beast, and then you play another one, if you have two of them in it. 
And hey, that makes me happy. A full art pathway, rectos pathway. Yes. We say yes to this. That's going to be sleeved in because we say yes to the pathways. Wow, look at that. That's amazing, that's awesome. Okay. So. Calamity Bearer. It's a giant berserker, giant source. If a giant source you control would deal damage to a permanent player, it deals double damage that to the permanent instead for four. So you make a giant tribal deck. Does this work with the sorcery, with the adventure, since it's a giant? But it's not a creature, so I don't know how it should work. But still, giants deal double damage. And you have giants that deal damage differently. So a giant tribal deck is real. That is very much real. Maybe I'll take my Izzet deck into a giant deck. Who knows? Um, thank you for that. And a foil. And you're not going to see the card because I want to still get some packs on Arena. Okay. Oh, pretty fast with these packs. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Uh. Iguna rice. That's beautiful. Okay. And it's another mythic. It is the res resplendent marshal. When Resplendent Marshal enters the battlefield or dies, you may exile another creature card from your graveyard. When you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control other than Resplendent Marshal that shares a creature type with the exile card. Okay. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. When you do, put a plus one counter on each creature you control that shares a creature with the exiled card. Okay. So you say warrior, then all your warriors get a plus one, plus one counter. And then when he dies, you do it again. And it's a tree tree flying for three. Okay. I hope, I really hope, that's what standard needs right now, is the variety in decks. Because it's so much not fun playing against the same deck. So it's Gruel... Then it's uh, the uh, Demon uh, Rogues, you know, um, and against Yorion. It's like the same decks over and over again. A little bit of change. It's nice. And I really hope a lot of creativity will be done so we can see that. Hopefully not a tournament's like, yeah, this deck is the best deck. And everybody, this is the best deck. Let's play that. No, you need to let your creativity loose, man. Just try and make a fun, strong deck. A Dragon King Berserker for two. First strike, boast abilities. You have cost one less for each dragon you control. Boast, create a 5-5 five, five red dragon with flying. Cool. So it gets cheaper every time you use it. Only once a turn, though. the commons you know there are nice uncommons look at that look at that beautiful and the runeforge champion a dwarf warrior when runeforge champions enter the battlefield you may search a library and uh, for graveyard for a rune card we will put it in your hand if you search shuffle the library this way i think i messed it up but okay it's hmm, a nice card Little dwarven tribal. And that's what this set is about because there are. Um, how many realms? 
I'm gonna say nine realms, but I'm not sure. And I think it's ten realms, you know, magic style. And every realm has a different tribal. So you're gonna see a lot of tribals that you can use. And then shapeshifters, of course, and can be thrown in anywhere. Okay, that's the normal version of Call the Force Master. Beautiful card. Still like the Altenar, though. That's sick. And this is number two for the Battle of Frost and Fire. So the giant deck that I'm thinking of is maybe going to happen if this keeps up. And I sleeve the other one, but uh, I'll sleeve it later. I think it's going to be a giant deck, though. I'm going to create if this keeps up. Okay. Saga is the rare. Okay, so I'm, I'm counting, you know, the commons, but apparently when there's a foil, I, I mess it up. So Fiera's Retribution. That's nice. And just control gain double strike. Cool. And we had one more, and that oh, it is uncommon. But look at it. It's ultimate art. That's. Look how stylish this is. Gee, magic sometimes. Really. I'm gonna sleep this one. It's a foil, foil uncommon. So we're almost there with the packs that we have. Of course, the other ones will open later. So we got four left. And it's another one of Fiera's Retribution. Two in a row in, in the packs. That's amazing. A little daunting, but okay. And then see. It's another full art pathway. We want those. And we take those. What is this? Replicated ring. Token star artifact. Add one mana of any color. Okay, that means that's a card that you can use. Ay, ay, ay. So I'm happy with the pathways, especially when they're full art. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Elvish Warmaster for two. Whenever one or more elves enters the battlefield on your control, create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token play. Display the tokens only once each turn. And then for seven elves you control get plus two plus two and gain deck touch. Yeah, so that's one of the tribals that is back. Elves. Hooray! We're so happy you're back in standard. Woohoo! Also, thank you for making Pioneer even worse with Elves. Well, oh, come on. This is the last booster from what we're gonna open. And how fitting! Here it is, the card I'm looking for, the World Tree. And you know why I want it? Because I like the third ability. So, you know, you get your mana, it enters tapped. If you have six or more lands, add one mana of any color. So, who cares? It's not a legendary lens, because why? And then this part. This part right here. I've been playing on Arena with this deck. And if it goes off, I have 16 gods with haste. Vigilance, indestructible for a few, and some at first strike and stuff like that. The opponent is like, "All right, GG." Yes. Okay. So while well, I will sleeve this one, what about the six boosters? Well, six boosters I will open up in a different video, since that will be my sealed deck. So. 
Ah, just a quick look at our rares. Just going, so we have pathways, lots of sagas, a few mythics. Yeah, this is. I I'm sh I'm not gonna complain about this booster at all. You know, we have some nice cards. There is some beauty in there. But still, we have to see what will open in the sixth one in the next video. So, hey, thanks for watching and see you next time.